Hello. Hello, Elvis. <gasps> Good boy. Say hello. Come here then, say hello. Hello. <gasps> oh, I am wearing white. I should have thought about this. Good morning. This is Elvis. Say hello, Elvis. Hello, everybody. We are at Rockcliffe Hall today, aren't we? We're actually staying in one of the apartments because they allow for puppies now, dogs. In that main hotel, they don't think they do, so if you want to bring your dog here, you can. You get to stay in one of the apartments. So we brought Elvis. I'm here with my mum. We're going to be playing the lovely golf course here today. I know Rick Shields has actually recently done a video saying this is the hardest golf course in the country. They have tee boxes, which are gold, and they are crazy long. They also have a par three hole here it's hole number five and it's literally like a little island surrounded by water so it's gonna be a very interesting day it's gonna be quite tricky isn't it Elvis but we'll see how we do I was contemplating whether I play off the reds because apparently it is quite long but I think I'm just gonna go for the yellows I'm just gonna see what happens I think we can do it I think we can get round I don't know what we're gonna score but we can definitely get round and Elvis is gonna be keeping me company the whole way as is my mum I think it's just coming in the door now every time I'm with Elvis I literally want a puppy so bad but I know I shouldn't have one. I'm not ready for a puppy or a dog. I know what he is, he's a Pomeranian, but he's like the fluffiest of Pomeranians, aren't you? You're so fluffy and you're such a pretty color. Elvis ain't dead. Rockcliffe is so pretty, by the way. We haven't actually been to the spa yet. The course is beautiful. The building is beautiful. I genuinely just love golf resorts and hotels, which have like a really homely feel to them. I don't know, there's just something about it. It does make me a little bit sad. I think there's about 300 members and only like five or so are women. I mean, it's pretty representative of golf, right? Like not many women play. I think that's changing. I think more more women are getting into golf. I think the more we just invite people to come play with us, invite your wife, your girlfriends, your sisters, your mums, your daughters. I think we'll all wanna play eventually, won't we? It'll be nice to get out. I think we'll get there. It's gonna be a long and slow process, but I think we'll get there. I actually did some chipping yesterday as well, um, just to practice. I don't know why I was chipping, I just felt like I wanted to chip because my chipping's not been that great. Well, it was, it's not been that bad, but it just wasn't great when I went and played a pen longer. It was honestly the most beautiful experience of my life. Like, I was just outside. It was super nice weather. It was quite cold, but like not too cold. The sky was blue. It was kind of like red. It was just like the most beautiful scene ever. The chipping area here is absolutely incredible. Like, the practice facilities are really, really good. Like, the best I've seen, the best I've seen full stop. I was just having such a nice time. My main goal today is to not lose my head, chill, relax, and enjoy it. People always say as well, like, if you're getting really annoyed or frustrated, just be grateful that you're outside, enjoying the scenery. It doesn't really cut it for me. I really can't get out of my own head, and the scenery doesn't help at that moment of time. I need to literally think about something totally different. I'm gonna try and think about my next shot and literally don't let my previous shot bother me. Let's see. Gonna hit some golf balls with us today? Yes. I'm excited. You've never played golf with me before. No. Come in. Gonna be nice, gonna be mummy, daughter, golfing. We're gonna probably put you on the fairway or something. Unless you want to do some driving. Do you wanna do some I driving? I want to drive, I need to collapse my hits in. Hmm. She wants to go big dog on the hardest golf course in England. What have we got to lose? My balls, I only have a certain <laughs> amount. I didn't bring enough for two. We'll have to buy some more from the shop. Come on then. Look how beautiful this building is. It's so nice. I'm not really sure, but every time I go to play golf, I literally never have time to do anything before I tee off. So I've not been to the driving range, not done any chipping, not done any putting. You feeling ready, Mum? <laughs> What's a no? What's a no? <laughs> She's feeling ready. I think I can feel it in my bones. She's going to do some good shots today. We're going to catch them on camera. No. Yes, you will. Be positive. Everyone tells you golf's all about the mind. Rockcliffe Hall and some tees. You literally just press that and you go forward. You'll be good, go. Drive carefully, there's speed limits. Honestly, you really <laughs> She's gonna wanna come golfing all the time. Just to drive buggy. around. Oh, she does take corners seriously. <laughs> there will be no accidents today. <laughs> right, we're playing with Callum today. He works here at Rockcliffe. He's actually had a bit of practice this morning, unlike me. You want to go first, John? No, no, you go first, you do the honors. We're both playing off yellows. I think this is a lovely first hole. It's super wide. I don't think that could have gone any better. 
That sounded good. Okay, mum's having a go. This is the second hole. It's a par three. We've teed a ball up for her. She's playing off the yellows like a professional, practicing. Oh. I've just hit mine into the bunker on the left, so it can't be worse than that. Oh, lovely, mum. It did go in the bush, but it was a nice shot. Par five. We've had a bit of a rocky start. An eight and a five. But we also have, on a positive note, 16 more holes. To be fair, on the second hole, oh, it's quite bumpy. On the second hole, mum was like, Mia, calm down, concentrate. Because I lost my head already <laughs> after the second hole. But I got it back. I only got a double after the eight on the previous. Right, let's go. Are you going straight for the green? Going straight for the green. Straight for the green. This is exciting. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Yeah. <laughs> Did it go in the water? Yeah. See, even pros get it wrong sometimes, guys. Just for a little while, see how I like it, and then when the weather's good though. Yeah, I don't think you get to pick the weather. It's not just any day, so I don't feel like doing it today. Oh, we played it safe. We went to the right to avoid the water. That's a chip in. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Well, thanks, man. So this is an interesting hole. There's a nice big, is it a lake? I'm gonna call it a lake. It looks nice though, a bit tricky. Oh, it's so pretty. Where am I aiming for? So straight ahead towards the bunkers. Oh. Yeah. Perfect, very good. That was professional looking. <laughs> My favourite club mum is my driver, when I hit it well. That was good, well done. Good, yeah, dry. I actually can't believe how nice it is. We're in November and the course is so nice. Like, a bit surprised to be honest with you. I never thought I'd be a winter golfer. So apparently in winter you play preferred lie, which means you can... What's the rules for preferred lie? Preferred lie, yes, you're allowed to mark it, you clean it, and you can put it back So down. you put your tee in the ground where you you're bought. in the ground, yeah. You just give it a clean, put it back down. Oh, that's nice. He's a 56. Oh, that was a good shot. Even though you're not that good. <laughs> oh, nice. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, I just beat Callum on that hole, didn't I? Got a birdie. <laughs> This is the par five with an island green. So basically, regardless of whichever tee box you're hitting off, which is all the way around it, you still got to get over the water. And if you miss the water, the drop zone's still on the other side of the water. Oh my gosh, how pretty is it? I just can't get over it. I feel like I'm in another country right now. But I didn't make it because I just got into the water, so oh, I'm so going in the drop zone. Use? I used a seven iron, but Johnny used like a driver and try and get it over. It's going to be quite hard. I don't think an iron will get you there. Really? Yeah. How many yards is that then from here to the green? Like 153. What did you use? I used a 7 iron. Should I try with a 7? It needs a bit of welly. But it was nice and high. Oh, right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and another one bites nice. the dust. <laughs> another ball in the pond. Here's the drop zone. How far is the drop zone? Oh, like uh, 87 yards. There's a tree right in front of you, Mia. You like that? But I'm going that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope I'm not into the tree. Pretend it's not there. Oh. No. <laughs> the bushes and the and the water. Nice. Oh, we got it onto the green. Yes. I think we're on the, the sixth hole. Mucked up my first shot, so we're playing played a second shot which gives us our third shot out of the bunker which I'm actually going to use an iron for. A 7 iron, 159. And just hit it normally. Hit it normally. Came out. Hello. It's a good try. It's not too bad. It came out. That's actually a win for me. That's a win. Apparently some sheep escaped this morning. Literally trampling all over the course. That's pretty funny. You wouldn't have liked to have seen sheep, would you, Elvis? Or would you? Maybe you'd have run after them. Mine did go into that water. I feel like him in every single water. My other shot's now gone in. Is it a bunker or a hole? I think it might be a hole. I think that was quite a long drive, actually. Did yours go? What do you mean? This is the one right in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> you got the same distance as me, I think. Same tees, <laughs> same distance. I'm not quite sure how he managed to get it on top of this. This is the biggest bunker and he still managed to get it on the grass. That's Jammy. That's his middle name. <laughs> Jammy. Oh, 
I actually just surprised myself and I hit one good drive and then I hit a good hybrid as well. Were you surprised, Mum? You yes. were You were surprised. I was surprised. I've never hit my hybrid that good, so that's my best hybrid shot I've ever done on the course. I'm trying to use it more, be a bit more adventurous, especially when it's like really open fairways. I just feel like I need to have another club between my driver and my 7 iron really, don't I? We're driving past the practice area. The chipping area here is actually incredible. Like the chipping area up there has got loads of bunkers, loads of undulations. That's where I was practicing chipping yesterday. We've got the golf academy here. I'm actually quite impressed with the practice facilities. If a scorecard was a roller coaster, I will definitely have had a roller coaster. I actually scored the same as Callum on one, two, three holes. Isn't that impressive, Elvis? Just gonna have a look inside the golf academy to show you. Got all of these ranges. Oh, you've got a mirror. Oh, this is good. It's actually quite good. Quite impressed. So good. That's the best the best one down there with two mirrors. We're on the 10th hole. Mum's going to have a go at hitting the driver. I've got loads of followers here. Some of the followers are your followers. I don't know why I've never posted anything. How are they my followers? I've never tagged you in anything. Yeah, but I follow you. <laughs> sorry, follow sorry, you she's a celebrity. On. Come on, Mum. That was awesome. I haven't done one in 30 years. This is my it's first It's a good club, one. eh? It is very good. Very light, isn't it? Very light. Oh, should we steal in my clubs now? I'll get my ancient ones out. Are you impressed, Mia? I'm so impressed. <laughs> yeah, that was so great, wasn't it, Elvis? Did you see that, puppy? <laughs> wow. Mum was a good potential. golfer. Right, she's playing the second shot now. Mum, you walk past your ball. Here you go. Walk in the park for you. I'll try that again. Come on, Elvis, let's go. <laughs> She's just having the best time. She's literally laughing so much. <laughs> what if we get into the bunker? That would have been great. <laughs> I can't believe it going to the bunker. I've managed to get every single bunker. That's even possible. Mine. That's actually a skill. Yeah, the other is just there, Mum. I've literally just had to blob that hole because I got myself into a bunker, but it was such a deep bunker. I genuinely just couldn't get myself out. I did so many shots to try and get out, and I didn't. I never usually give up. I usually try and do it until I can get it, but there are people behind us, so I feel like I need to pick up. But that was so hard. That's a really deep bunker. It's actually interesting, but very hard. I am so impressed with your playing, Mum. You're impressed. I don't know. <laughs> that, that is a face of, I'm pretty impressed with myself. She just asked me, Mia, are you impressed with my golf? Very impressed, Mum. Very impressed. You need to get back out on the course then. Chop the head off. Chop the head off. A swish. Chop the head off. What are you chopping the head off? <laughs> Cold ball, the tea. Okay, what have we got? 56, I think. Cut through the rough. Oops. Oh, oh. To be fair, it could have gone once. Just on the fringe. 56. Literally just tripped over the teamwork. My mum is literally imagining me falling over, my face covered in mud. I would have looked atrocious. Oh god, I'm so clumsy. I think you're gonna have to cut out all the sniggering. <laughs> Why? In your film. Why? Because I'm <laughs> on it. The <A> witch. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, we're just talking about indoor simulators, simulators, which are actually really good for winter, aren't they? Yes. And um, with like track mounts, because I haven't really tracked manned any of my shots. So I don't necessarily know what I'm doing all the time. I should really. Yeah, there's one in London called Pitch, which is really nice. I feel like I'm really zoomed in. How does that happen? No, I did it. Huh? You made it zoomed in? Yes. Can you remember when we did that sports day? Yeah. Is that zoomed in? What sports day? How far am I? And I, I came third. 
あなたに人立つで会うからかいんだって私は言えノーあなたは何をしてるの<laughs> random. It's getting a bit nippy now, but it's still such nice weather. It's actually really pretty. Wow, this hole looks amazing. The water looks incredible. How was your shot? Did that look good? <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. Every time you bring the camera out in the water. Did it go in the water? Uh, yeah, it did. It landed on the right side and then bounced into the water. Oh dear. I can drop it up there. <laughs> <laughs> this is our final scorecard. Callum did very well. He got level par after the first nine. I got 53, which was 17 over. I did get a birdie and a bogey and a par and another bogey actually. And I did do some quadruple bogeys, not ideal. On the back nine, Callum actually managed to get one under which is very impressive. I blobbed, what hole was that? Blobbed hole 10, unfortunately, and got another 53, so 106 overall, which, considering it's supposed to be the hardest course ever, it's actually not too bad. It's actually 6,461 yards total, which is actually pretty long. Oh yeah, I wrote down on this hole, which is the 13th hole, loads of hybrids. Basically, I'm not very good with my hybrids, so I thought I'd try it lots of times I did it three times on that hole if I did it once I probably would have scored par we've got the heaters out here now it's quite cold actually but it's actually surprisingly nice considering it's November and we're in winter to play outside I never thought I'd be a winter golfer here I am enjoying it what a surprise it's honestly been such a pleasure to play today I genuinely was having like the best time Every time I feel like I'm having the best time although I don't like school particularly well I'm not like whoa I'm a professional, I'm really, really good. It's quite quite frustrating because that's kind of what I want to be. I want to be really, really good. I just want to be really good. I just want to be like, oh yeah, I scored, you know, had a bad round today, I scored two over. That would be the dream. We're just a very average golfer. We're a beginner golfer. We've only been playing for like two years. So I'm actually not too disheartened with this scorecard. It is a tough course. If you ever get a chance to come to Rockcliffe Hall and play, would totally recommend it. It's also quite interesting that this is considered like one of the hardest courses as well, at least according to Rick Shields. Why would you not want to test that out? It's actually not that bad though. If you play from the golds, then yeah, it's really stretching you. But if you play from the yellows or the reds, it, it's like, it's definitely doable. It's super fun. I played off the yellows today and I loved every single second of it, apart from when I lost my head because I couldn't hit the ball. But next time I just need to do a warm up. I think if I do a warm up, then everything's solved. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog today and I will catch up with you in my next video.